Shares of CSX are down today after the company reported earnings. Morgan Brennan just talked to the CEO and joins us now with his comments. Morgan? Hey, Carl, that's right. So CSX is trading lower right now despite that earnings beat, that new $5 billion stock buyback announced last night. I caught up with Jim Book, CSX CEO and president just a few minutes ago by phone. We talked about a variety of topics, starting with U.S.-China trade and what those flows have meant in terms of the freight railroad. He said little to no impact on CSX thus far. If anything, it's been a slight positive with steel customers, especially U.S. Steel, expanding operations where he has seen a slight negative, but CSX has little exposure to it. Soybean expert exports. Also that all of the railroads have seen a big push on container imports on both coasts as products were trying to get in ahead of those tariff and Increases that had originally been scheduled for the beginning of this year. No impact from shutdown, perhaps unsurprisingly, but like many other CEOs, monitoring that situation. In terms of the U.S. economy and the fact that we've had a number of economists, strategists come out and say that the risk for a recession has been increasing, he says that's probably a fair statement, but they look at every economic indicator. Our customers touch about every part of the U.S. economy, he told me, and they are not seeing any kind of meaningful slowdown at all. Instead, planned investments, projects by customers this year and beyond do seem to remain on track. I also asked him about precision scheduled railroading, which is what CSX implemented uh, about two years ago. Union Pacific and Norfolk Southern are both implementing similar strategies right now. He said nice to be copied and show the world what can be accomplished to the extent that all the railroads become more effective and efficient. He says it benefits CSX. In terms of CSX's outlook this year, which right now is uh, forecasted to be low single-digit revenue growth. I think one of the reasons the stock is under pressure right now. Uh, he said aggressive targets on the cost side, but those are under control. That maybe if they see a decline in demand for U.S. coal, it was a great year in 2018. The outlook still remains strong for 2019, that that could be something to watch. Uh, but guys, it, on pricing as well, also saying that the tight trucking market. Uh, they see that as an opportunity, too. Shares are down about 1.8 percent right now, but keep in mind they've run up quite a bit, 10 percent over the past year and, and much more than that over the last uh, five and ten years.